Hi guys, welcome back to Harry John's YouTube channel and Harry John's Kitchen. So today is part two of the Harry John Makes Cider video. And I'm going to go through briefly through the, all the equipment you're going to need to uh, take the, side, the gallon of cider out of primary fermentation and put it into secondary fermentation, which is into a demijohn. Okay, so let's see the equipment we'll need. Okay, so this is it guys. So obviously we need the gallon of cider from last week that we put in here on the 10th. And I'll just show you a quick view of what this looks like. Oh, I'll put this lid on too tight. There we go. So that is smelling amazing and looking great. All that bit on the top. Um, what's it? It's not the yeast cake, I believe that's what's on the bottom. But all this is perfectly normal and looks great. So what we're going to do... Um, is uh, we're going to take this siphon tube and this is going to sit, it's got this cool little contraption at the end so this will sit on the bottom of your bucket and it will, it, some of the yeast cake will get through but most of it will stay inside this bucket which is great so of course you need to make sure everything is sterilised um, you're going to need a demijohn to, um, yeah, for secondary fermentation and we need an airlock, that's it So. Off camera, I'm going to put this siphon tube into the bucket and I'm going to transfer all of the cider into this demijohn. So, here's a very quick view of the cider going into the demijohn. Uh, tricky to get on camera. I do have a little yeah, go. Take two on that. Um, didn't quite have the siphoning tube in the uh, demijohn very tightly. So, yeah, as I was saying, very tricky to get on camera. I do have a GoPro, but it's not as good quality as this camera, so I made a mess for you guys. Alright guys, and there you have it. So the mess has all been cleaned up. We've got some beautiful cider in here. Maybe a little bit too much, but I'll find out when I put the, the um, airlock on. So, yes, yeah, too early to tell. I'll come back to this, but you will see a yeast cake developing at the bottom there. That is completely normal. Um, and there was a little bit left that I've put into a glass here so I can just give it a little sample check that we haven't got anything that tastes like vinegar here so pretty easy just stick this airlock on and make sure you fill it with sterilized water I use some of the uh, water with the sterilizing fluids you can also use distilled water but this is what I've got at the moment cool so let's see if we can get that to focus so that will be absolutely fine. I will keep an eye on it because you will get bubbles uh, popping up here. Um, and you can even get a little bit of foam if the fermentation is still fairly aggressive. But Okay, might as well give this a quick drink on camera. I'll let you know how it tastes. That is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so yeah. Leave it in the demijohn for another three to four weeks, or keep an eye on the bubbles. You will see the the bubbles like uh, slowing down eventually. That will give you a good indication if the yeast is still actually um, eating the sugars and producing alcohol. All right, so I'll come back to this uh, in a few hours and just show you the bubbles coming through. Anyway, all right, everyone, we are back. So. The cider did take a little bit longer than the wine I was brewing at the same time to to start bubbling and start creating uh, this foam at the top. Uh, but as you can see now, I think the bubbles show up on the camera quite well. Uh, it is bubbling nicely. Now, this is my second batch of cider and this juice, uh, the combination of apples I used, just, oh my life, it, it, it tasted gorgeous. So I'm really excited to see how this one's going to turn out. But yeah, the airlock is on. Um, as you can see, I may have topped it up a little. I have topped it up a little bit too much. You can see that the um, the cider or the bubbling actually made it through into the airlock a little bit. Now, this is nothing to be concerned about. The airlock simply stops any bacteria getting in while it's uh, in the secondary fermentation here. So that'll be absolutely fine. Looks a little bit dirty, but won't cause any problems at all to the uh, cider. <clears throat> and we've got a little bit of the yeast cake, nothing too much, but that'll be absolutely fine. 
So, very excited to see how this one turns out. Um, so yeah, make sure you keep the cider between 19 and 24 degrees C. I'm going to store it upstairs in a nice warm room. Um, and yeah, just put a label on it so I know this one is the second batch and I can keep most of these bottles to myself because I think this one is going to be gorgeous. Alright, well thank you for tuning in guys. Um, I hope you all have a great day and happy brewing. See you all soon. Cheers.